Here are all the ingredients for today's recipe. Medium sized chicken washed and cleaned, bunch of coriander, two bonnet chilies cut up in small pieces, three medium sized onions, olive oil, all the spices, four tomatoes, one whole garlic and a little piece of ginger, all grinded up. And here, here I've got one and a half teaspoons of pink salt, one and a half teaspoons of red chilies, one teaspoon of crushed chilies, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, two teaspoons of zira, two teaspoons of coriander powder, two teaspoons of methi. That's all the spices there for you. So here I've got the gas on high flame, four or five tablespoons of oil, and now I'm going to add the onions to that. I'm going to brown off the onions. Onions are light brown colour, so I'm going to add the ginger garlic. I'm going to mix the ginger garlic in properly until the ginger garlic's like a light brown colour too. Now that the ginger garlic is a light brown colour, I'm going to add all my spices in and mix them well. And the flame has been high up to now. So after mixing the spices in well for a few seconds, I'm going to add a few drops of water. Flame is still on high. Mix everything well after adding the water. I'm going to add a, few, a little bit, a few more drops. So I'm going to let this water reduce a little bit. So the water's reduced a little bit. I'm going to add my tomatoes into that. I'm going to carry on cooking the tomatoes for about five minutes on high flame. So after cooking the tomatoes for five minutes on high flame, I'm going to add a bit more water in. And I'm going to mix it all in well. And I'm going to keep the flame on high and cover the cook it. So it's been five minutes since I've been cooking the tomatoes. I'm going to add the chicken in. So I'm going to mix the chicken in well. Once the chicken is all mixed in well, I'm going to cover it again and cook it until the start till now the flame has been on high. So carry on cooking this on high flame. So the chicken has been cooking for 15 minutes on high flame covered. I'm just going to stir it now. I'm going to stir it well and as you can see it's got quite a lot of liquid in so I'm going to cover it up and cook it again say for another 15 minutes so it's been like another 10 minutes I am going to give it a stir again You can see it's released the chicken and the tomatoes that I put in there. They've released quite a lot of water. So I'm going to give it a good stir and carry on covering and cooking it. So 
So it's been another 10 minutes, I'm going to stir everything well. So there still is quite a lot of water, so I'm going to cover and cook it again for another 10 minutes. So about after 5 minutes I'm going to stir it again. Here you can see the chicken has released the oil. And there's not much liquid in there and the flame has been high till now I'm gonna carry on cooking this on a high flame now just keep the lid off and carry on cooking it like stirring it you off a minute because you don't want it to stick So after taking the lid off, I've been stirring it every few seconds and I'm going to add some green chilies. The flame has still been on high flame since the beginning. Just after the lid, I've kept on stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And you can see the chicken has released its water and there's its oil, I mean, and there's not much water left in there. At this point, I'm going to boil a kettle and then add the hot water to it so I can make a nice thick gravy. So in total, from the start till now, it's been about 35 to 40 minutes. This chicken has been cooking on high flame. First I covered and cooked it, then I took the lid off and cooked it without the lid. And now I'm going to add the water to it, the kettle water. So here I'm going to add the kettle water. Stir everything well. So here it's up to you how you want your chicken gravy to be. If you want it to be a thick gravy, then you put less water in. And if you like it more watery, you put more water in. So I'm just going to add a bit more water because I like my chicken gravy to be a bit more thicker. Now after adding the water, let, let it cover it and let it cook for another 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes now since I added the water. And now I'm going to add the coriander. I'm going to mix that in well. And then I'm going to just turn the heat to low and then let that cook for five minutes and then I'll serve that up and show you the final look. So this is my final look of my simple chicken curry.